Welcome back to another episode of Definitely Not Mechanics. Today, we're gonna be jumping into the interior of the old skinny van. We're gonna be putting in new boombox. Now I've got a helper. So I got this pretty sweet Boss Double Din DVD player uh, right off the interweb. It's the BV9364B DVD, MP3, CD, AM, FM, receiver, Bluetooth, 6.2 inch widescreen. I just really wanted something that had a knob and I couldn't find much that had a knob, but I found one. Okay, so. I'm going to start this by taking out the radio here. I'm going to dump all the crap out of here, throw it in the floorboard. Right? Yeah. So then, this comes off in a way. I, I'm not sure of the way. Hmm. Okay, let's try. Uh, I'm gonna try somewhere nonchalant, so if I break something, it's not that big of a deal. Nope, okay, I'm gonna get another tool for this. So what I'm trying not to do is ruin this panel. Okay, so I got that in there. What I'm gonna do is shove this one in here as a placeholder, and then I come behind it, kind of pry it out there. And they definitely make trim tools for this, but uh, obviously I don't have any. So now that we got that, just kind of pull around it. You don't want to, you know, if it doesn't feel like it's coming, it's probably not gonna. Be careful of this. I don't have my keys on me, so. Okay, so we've got a connector right here, and I'll show you. You can see there's a connector on the back of this one. There's gonna be a connector on the back of this one, and then there's gonna be some connectors on here. So you can get these off like this, and then kind of twist it and get those a little better. Give this back to my cameraman here. The old squeeze and pull, you know, nothing, uh, nothing too extreme. Pretty regular connectors. Try not to pull on the harness itself. There we go. It's Probably. <laughs> there we go. So, can you see up here? Yeah. Bring it up here like this. Mm -hmm. And you can see those are the other connectors there. And I'm just going to scoop those off here. Hold the camera, Mr. Cameraman. Mm -hmm. And all of different color string. <laughs> yeah. That's wiring. I don't know why that one's not coming off. We'll save it for last. Okay. So, got these connectors off. This one was a little bit difficult. The only thing I did um, to try to help it along was when I squeezed it, I would wiggle it back and forth like that, and then it came loose. You know, a lot of these have been sitting in here for years. So we're gonna pull this off to the side. We're gonna set this down here with all of our crap. And you'll notice that you have some screws here. We've got two on this side, two on that side. Don't lose that harness back off in there. That would be a tragedy. We're gonna run those off real quick, pull this whole thing out. Make sure to pull these out of here so you don't lose them. Pull this guy all the way out. This is your antenna wire. It pulls straight out. And then this is your main radio harness. This one, just like the other one, it's a little tight. So I'm just gonna give it the little wiggle wiggle. Boom, right out. And that's it. I don't know what went there originally. No idea. Uh, you can keep this. 
I don't know why you would, but I'm going to. I don't know why I do. Lost our harnesses back off in here. Now's a good time to jump around in here, see what you find. Oh my goodness, what did we just find? Don't know what's going on there. What else is in here? Well, nothing else. All right. So now I'm gonna unbox this other one. This is my microphone. I've got to find a place to put that. Usually people put them right up here. I think that's a pretty swell idea because mine's pretty easy to get to right there. Um, here are some bracketry and screws. And uh, that's the end of that bag. Hmm? Here is my remote. Here are my instructions. All right. Okay, we got some foamy. Yeah. We got some foamy. Don't eat that. A radio. Here is my radio. Okay. So this has got some screws. We remove these two screws before installation. Otherwise, this player will not work properly. Then why put the screws in there? Oh, it's probably, okay, I, I get it. So definitely want to look at all those warnings. These screws are for packaging so it doesn't rattle around and mess up the player itself. So these actually go through the player. It won't accept a disc if these are in. Take those out. This is just taped on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna leave that on until we're done just to kind of protect everything. Here is our USB and this is our microphone. So firstly, what I would like to do is take our harness that we have here harness. and I'm not gonna plug everything in all at once. We're just gonna start by plugging in that, okay? That works, that connects. And then we're gonna plug this in. So we should have power to the radio and everything. I'm gonna grab my keys so we can turn it on real quick. Okay, so we got our keys. Yeah. I'm gonna hold this up. Boom, we're getting power. Yo, I just sat here and fiddled with this forever, dude. So, <clears throat> these are the factory mounts that I took off the factory stereo. Those are the factory bolts off the factory stereo. I just put them in there. Boom. Dude, that brought it up perfect where it needed to be. Dope. I didn't need to buy mounts after all. I'm gonna see if they'll return them after I cut them up. Okay, now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is like the 15th time I've taken this radio out and put it back in. Hopefully the last time For the last time we attach this, we attach this, boom. Oops, forgot to attach this. Wow. What a way better fit, dude. And this, I realized, is actually a trim ring that is removable, and you can replace it with another uh, trim ring if you have one that matches your bezel setup here, or if you have if you wanted a matte one over a gloss one, I guess. I'm fine with that one, it matches pretty well. Boom, works, works, works. Movie?
Boom. Scooby Doo and the Sorcerer's Stone. Hey, babe, you want to come watch Scooby Doo in the van? Um, for this being, you know, a hundred dollar head unit, it's actually pretty nice. It's got all the features that I would want. A knob, that's all I wanted. Um, a knob and Bluetooth. But it plays DVDs, it seems to work pretty well with that process as well. It's a pretty large screen for something that also has a knob. And it hooked up and worked pretty quick. So I would say overall, this is a win. The install for radio on this is super simple. Just be careful you're not gonna scratch up these plastics or mar them up because a new radio will only look so cool if it's surrounded by a messed up panel. So make sure that you do a good job, you take your time, you don't wanna mess it up and then have to stare at a bunch of shit for a long time. Make sure that this is all squared up in here. Um, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I took this radio out and put it back in uh, nine times actually, and that's not an exaggeration. Um, I tried several different mounts. I tried um, several different adjustments. Also, with the harness that I used, I had not zip tied it up behind the radio. So when I opened this guy, it fell down behind there, and when I went to close it, it wouldn't, and it was stuck about right there. And that's annoying because these rattle like a son of a bitch closed you don't ever hear it so make sure that you zip tie everything nice and tidy back there but other than that I mean I don't really have any other tips this should apply to most stereos I definitely urge you guys to try to use the factory radio mounts off of the factory radio before using or opening the packaging to any mounts that you may have purchased um, I'm gonna have trouble sending mine back because mine were definitely garbage I'll say that right now garbage fitment trash but thanks everybody for watching this video, Definitely Not Mechanics. I hope this helped you out in installing the radio into your Honda Odyssey or other Honda product. If not, well, maybe you weren't trying to install a radio in the first place. So I hope you got a good laugh out of a couple parts. Thanks, and be sure to check out our merch store at DefinitelyNotMechanics.com. You can find updates on the channel. You can find updates on our new merch releasing on Facebook and Instagram. Be sure to check those out as well. We have an OnlyFans. It's definitely not mechanics. You can find it there and subscribe to our content. And uh, as soon as we get a subscriber, we'll definitely be loading a lot more stuff on there. But we are not going to spend the time for no subscribers. So thanks for watching the video. And uh, you guys have a good time with your new radios.